people do buy and see a personality, though. Like, yeah. you're right, though. So, yeah. I get it, but sometimes, like, I don't be talking about a lot of music because, I mean, honestly, what are we going to talk about? But think about your, that's, that's why I'm like, I can f with you because think about your platform. You ain't, I know you ain't about to have me, sit me on this bitch and just lean out the gate with just some hope. Oh, it's, 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 it's a difference, like, because think about we can come kick it about whatever, just more so on some G. Nah, for sure. You feel me? For as sure. opposed to you fishing for some shit to talk about, like, so shit. How you feel about Jay to keep a little baby? Like, man, like. That's crazy. So, I mean, <laughs> as an interviewer, though, I, I am going fishing a little bit. So, I'll be like, because I'm a man of integrity, too. So, yeah. I'm not about to just sit up here and live. Like, sometimes yeah. I fish for content. Like, I mean, but it got to be relevant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, it's, like, I'm going to ask you about some snitching shit because I feel like somebody snitched on you. Yeah. Right, so but that's relevant. you know that. Yeah. You, you know and what I'm saying? niggas is telling. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J-Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J-Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout-out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. It's Yo, what's poppin', man? Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast in the building. Oh, man, special guest all the way from Detroit. Oh, man, all-star JR in the building. And this bitch with my guy, what's the deal? Yo, I um, I love the movement. I just found out about you, like, recently. But, like, I do heavy, heavy dig, and I try to. It was short notice, but you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, I got a little minute. Yeah, like you've been doing this for a long time. So before we get started, I want to ask. I must. I'm gonna say a couple statements. I want to. Um, that sounds crazy. We just talking about snitching and shit. I'm <laughs> you, you about to leave right out with your statement? Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm gonna say a couple uh, uh, words, and I just want to get your um, the first thought that come to mind. Even if it's a serious thought, just tell me what you think about bad, how bad. you feel. All right. All right. So the first thing that come, uh, first thing I got written down is buffs. Legendary. What well, like what is that? <laughs> Buffs is legendary. Like, I'm look. I'm trying to really be on some chill shit. I ain't even put the buffs on for your shit, but it's always buffs close by. You gotta have buffs. Detroit staple. Like mm. that's our. Shit. What's buffs though? Cartier for the niggas glass, that don't know, Cartier glasses. The the white sticks. Not look, cause niggas is just grabbing any Cartiers and just talking about they got on their buffs. Niggas wearing big skinny wire lenses, calling them buffs. All of them cool, but it's only one of them that's buffs. And like y'all niggas really need to get organized and get that shit figured out, like for real. That's for just real. a Detroit thing, like buffs. I mean, no. Well, niggas, Cardi is a Cardi a glasses. Yeah, but. you feel me? But niggas everywhere done jumped on it now. So, but I feel like that ain't what I feel. It what it is. Cardi actually recognized that shit. they sent out a special like pair of buffs. Like you feel me? So they know like. Wait, our stamp on that. Detroit? Yeah, they know our stamp on the culture and shit like that. So, yeah, yeah. that's definitely some Detroit shit. All right, bet. Um, let's see what else I got. I got a couple things. Um, I was curious to know uh, Michigan State. He's Lansing. Jail. Mm. <laughs> what happened at Michigan State? Quarter the cases there, bitch. Was that was like six, five, six yeah, years ago? Yeah, that was like six years ago. Six years. But well, I feel like, like I heard you really talk. Really like eight years ago, that shit. But, like, what happened exactly, though? Just, I don't really want to speak on, you know, there's other niggas who was involved in okay. it. And we moved so far past it, you feel me? That's, like, rehashing some super old shit. But caught a case up there, went to the joint shit, me and my co D, you feel me? We both got locked up. Some niggas told, you mm -hmm. know, as niggas do. They didn't even have to either because we was cooked anyway, so them niggas was damn near, like, co-policing and some shit. Like, fuck it, we got something for y'all, like... But shit. Yo, what's the, I guess, what be the scariest part? Like you say, um, niggas ain't had to snitch. But like, why do a nigga, why would, why would a nigga feel like he got to snitch? Niggas don't be want to go to jail. I know exactly why niggas be snitching. Jail is not fun, you feel me? But it be like, you know what you into. Man, it's like, at this point, all this shit down there seems like a scam. Y'all niggas know what y'all be doing. 
Like, everybody know niggas tell it, so at this point, it's like how niggas be like, like, niggas always be talking, oh, I do this shit by my damn self, and then you catch a case with six niggas. Like, all mm. right, bro. Like, shit, niggas better figure it out. Everybody know what they doing. If you with Fuck. niggas, get away from them. If you go tell, get out niggas' way and get out the street. I'm curious when I ask, like, why do, like, why people feel like they got to? Because I, I guess, it, looking back on something, it's always easy to say what you would or wouldn't do, mm-hmm. right? So I be like, I'm, I'm assuming, I don't know. I've never been in no street shit. Like, I'm assuming, like, looking back on it when niggas be like, Niggas ain't even had to tell. Like, how would you know that in a moment? If you could, I don't know, coach some niggas that, that might be going through some shit right now. Like, I mean, it's like a case-by-case case type thing, but it'd be like, with my situation, it was like, we was cooked anyway. They just okay. down there was adding shit. Like, like if you and your mans, y'all niggas get caught doing some shit, right? And then, like, your other mans just voluntarily be like, hey, not only was they doing that, like, they did X, Y, and Z, too. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Like, Sheesh. because it was as simple as, like, yeah, they got arrested, but it's like, do y'all know anything? And, like, yes or no, we was cooked. We done got caught up with shit okay. on camera. Like, oh, we was fried regardless. So the telling was, like, volunteer work. Damn. Because it was like, you say yes, you going to the crib. You say no, you going to the crib. Damn. Sheesh. All right, Um, what else I got? If you could have all the power in the world or all the money, what would you choose? The power. I just use that shit to generate the pay. <laughs> okay. Right, they but- both damn near, in a way, kind of coincide. You can interchange them bitches, it seems like, in today's world. Like, look who the... You feel me? Like, oh, this shit fuck. a joke. Either that or... Uh... Shit, the internet, like all the power on the internet too. Like it's crazy how wouldn't clout, not even internet, clout. So many niggas would do anything for clout. No, nah, that shit, like that's a dangerous game. It's like niggas, it's like it's like niggas will take more clout in the world than they would take the money. No, nah, that's really how most niggas is. Like it be situations, especially in music, where like you will see a nigga won't like he do the clout play and that shit don't turn to what he thought and then he would double back like hey damn I should have got some money like that's what you be seeing with a lot of shit niggas even be down there falling out with they label all type of shit like okay last one um rank 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 these three right to most important to least important uh loyalty respect and love what gotta come first Respect me first. Mm. Wow. Because I feel like enough, re- like if you respect me enough, the other shit like damn near come hand to hand with it. Mm. You feel me? Like love, I feel like that's, people do bullshit to people they love all the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so what, what, what comes right out there, I guess? Loyalty or? Loyalty definitely come after that. Like, because to me, love, it's like the most fleeting of all that shit. Like, and I think it depends on the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a person by person basis. You know mm. what I'm saying? Sometimes, but I definitely just want the respect first. Facts. But then, if I'm a newborn baby, I probably want my the love first. Mm. So it, it it probably just changes. You go through life for real. So, do you think love is a fleeting feeling, or we just misuse the the term love? That's probably more accurate, but then it might be a little bit of both. Mm. It no, might no. be a little bit of both because it's like, all right, you can be, you can have a significant other or some shit, and you might love them enough not to like do no bullshit at first. <laughs> like, but then it's two years later, all right, like I still love you, mm. but maybe. Like, but if, like, okay, nah, if we done put love first, the love done worn a little bit. You still love me, but but it ain't as rock solid. I wonder, do you got enough respect for me, though, to not do no, you feel me? Is you loyal enough? That's why them two down there got to come first. Because mm. love, I feel like they're near the, I guess, the least firm thing to be standing on. I seen more people... 
like do bullshit to people they love than people who like, no, nah, like nigga, I'm loyal to this motherfucker. Or you know what I'm saying? Like I really see most of the bullshit coming from the love side. That's what hurt the most though, right? Yeah. When it, it hurt when, when it's coming from somebody you love. Like it won't hurt as bad if it's if it's not somebody you really care about for real. Yeah, but then it's like how many look at what the world we live in, everybody trying to withhold love and mm. Like, so it'd be like, no, fuck it, just respect me first. Mm. Like, I think, um, I never really spoke on this. I think for me, at first, I heard a lot of people answers, and um, I think now I'm starting to think, at first I wanted respect first. Mm -hmm. but now I think I just want um, loyalty first. Because you can respect me and do something out of being scared. You can respect me. And I don't know shit. See, a, a lot of other people respect me, and they want that respect. So I feel like respect. I definitely, as a man, my ego, my pride says respect first. Respect me. Like if you don't do nothing else, just respect me. But what does that mean, honestly? Like if somebody respect me, even if they don't do anything, what does another person respecting me really mean? Loyalty. I feel like that has a is 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 concrete silence behind that. Like no matter what, if if we're just talking about the word itself. No matter how you feel about me, no matter what, however you look at me, I know you will never cross me. So even when we talk about snitching, if you're somebody loyal to you, to you, if somebody loyal to you, even if they hate your guts, they still loyal to you. You get what I'm trying but to this say? This is why I always start respect because even with person by person basis, like all right, I just been on y'all niggas. Mm -hmm. Right now, I can't ask nothing for y'all niggas but to respect me. You feel me? If I come in this want y'all niggas to love and be loyal to me, 17 minutes in. We go on the steep slope. Nah, facts, for sure. You feel me? So I, like, just start off with that respect. Of course. Yeah, I, I think on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah. But if I had to, like, I don't know, if we had superpowers or some shit, like, yeah. if I could have one, it probably would be loyalty, like, I guess. I don't know. I, I think that's just... I don't even want too many people, but then situation. I don't even want that many motherfuckers thinking they need to be loyal to me. Sheesh, that's because the then, this is another side of that coin. Yeah. Expectations, everything. Ah, because now in your mind, what the fuck was you even loyal to? Like, like th that shit get deep, right? Mm -hmm. Like that shit get deep for real. Because now you wonder, yes. like, are people loyal to you? The situation that y'all in, the situation that may come. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you loyal to by being so loyal to me? Like, do you lo is you loyal? Like, nigga. We get put off this bitch and got to sleep on peach tree loyal, or is you loyal like shit? We finna get on this, my nigga. Mm. Them is it's levels to that shit. So to just, I, I guess to just try to put that first all the time, like that shit's scary because it's like, what what that mean, nigga? Like mm. when you say like shit, what what is respect? Like what what are you really loyal to? Like now you gotta really when you dealing with your people, like, hey, bro. Are you loyal to me, or are you loyal to this, or are you loyal to what's us upcoming, or are you loyal thinking? Some people, like, even as a street nigga, I was loyal to a bunch of dumb shit that didn't make no sense because of this illusion. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, shit, this, oh, these my nigga. Like, damn, why? Shit, that's been my nigga. My fact. You ain't even got nothing to fall back on other than shit. I be getting high with this nigga. We some hoes together. That's my man's. But like the loyalty thing, though, right? I mean, like the love thing. Again, is that a fleeting feeling or is that real loyalty? Because when I think of loyalty, it's some things that come with it. And like we said earlier, it's easy to say what you would do when you're in a situation. Like you've been in a lot of situations yeah. that you had to actually prove your your work. You had to you had to prove with actions the words that came out your mouth. You've been in those situations. Mm -hmm. When a lot of people be in those situations, they fold. So when I think about loyalty, I'm I'm thinking of the exact definition, right? Like the exact yeah. definition of what it is. Even put it in perspective like this, like it's not shit like even me. Do you be loyal to like like as a street nigga? Like you would be with people for so long and shit. Like, and you be like, damn, am I loyal to these niggas? Do I really believe in coming up with these niggas? Is, do we really got a plan? Or is you loyal to the illusion that you got to stay with your day ones? You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, or certain people got to be around. Like, you know how many niggas I watch lives fall apart because it's like, shit, that's my brother. That's cuz. Like, this the nigga fucking up the bag, catching mm. cases. Like, 
just because. Like you so you just loyal. But then it's like whenever the shit go left, like, damn, you had your dumb ass brother around who kept doing that bullshit and fucked up a million dollar plays. And you like, that's my brother, though. I gotta be loyal to bro. Like, so it, it, everybody got to know what they being loyal to. The That's person asking for it, and you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. It's crazy because, like, a lot of times we don't learn these things. They're just, like, just coming up in the streets or, you know, like, in our neighborhoods and things like that because it would be times where, like, you think that's that's all you have to do. Like, you, it's like, I got to be loyal to, to these people. But you don't know how to, like, detach yourself from something that's messing up what you got going on, right? Like, they, I feel like they teach people these these things as adults, right? Learning how to understand, we, we call it red flags or whatever, but it could yeah. be a red flag in your circle. Like, yeah. when do you acknowledge that red flag and say, man, I'm out. This can't keep messing up my situation, even though it might hurt your name. It might hurt your credibility around the way. Look, bro, <clears throat> it's like this. Like, to, like, piggyback off what you said, like, like more so in our community, like, how this shit set up for us is, like, everything that's real nigga shit mm. is actually the dumb shit. <laughs> Talk about it. Like, like, anything, like, even as an artist, I'd be, like, Paying attention to that shit. Nah, like, even, like, for me and damn near, and to a certain extent, like, it's like, all right, you a lit nigga, whatever. You in the hood every day with all your ice on, whatever. Like, you want some real nigga shit. <laughs> the minute you get smoked, like, man, that shit was dumb as hell. Right. Like, no, it was literally dumb as hell the whole time. Mm, like, and the only people, really, if you ever notice, like, who feed the beast and be telling you to do the dumb shit is the niggas who trying to do some dumb shit to you. Mm. You don't hear no other rich niggas being like, nigga, why you got security? <laughs> like, you all there, it's always like the niggas on the other side of the coin or like, man, this shit get tricky. Like, it's not even the other side, right? It's the niggas that be on the same dumb side. Yeah, on the same <laughs> dumb side, yeah. Because they ain't see the other side. Yeah. yeah. Niggas like, are stupid. It's like anything that damn near get related to, like, some real shit right now. It's like you literally on some dumb shit. Let me ask you this, then. I, I ask a lot of people this. Being from the streets, right, what was one of the things that the streets taught you that you thought was right for a long time and you actually found out that it was wrong? The biggest misconception, I guess. Man, that they even the real thing damn near. Mm. What, the streets? The biggest misconception of the streets is the streets as a whole. Elaborate. Like, it's damn near like you literally playing yourself the opposite way of the re reality. Mm. And it's so, it's to the point where most niggas think that is reality. Like, the shit that go on, like, in hoods, this shit is not, like, normal, nigga. That ain't, like, Reality, that's niggas' reality because they make it that and they choose to, like, keep it that. But, like, that shit not real and everything that really come with it and get glorified or supposed to hold the standard to literally when you put up against it 90% of the time. it for Nothing about the streets is legitimate. Nice. Like, what, one in every 15 bitches go hold you down when you get locked up. Mm. The chances of these niggas telling on you, if you catch a case with more than one nigga, the chance of you getting told on is outrageously high. Facts. Like, 
you damn near going to get popped if you in them for, like, no, not even if you in them. If you even playing in the streets, nah. Like, any of that shit you damn near going to get shot. Like, it's like all the shit just, like, uh, illusion. The only thing that's really real about it is, like, the end game. Mm. Damn, that's some real shit. Like, real shit. It's crazy because I was just talking to somebody about people be playing in the streets a lot and... When people snitch, like even what's going on today, it's like we're so surprised. It's like we're almost shocked that all of the rappers that we're finding out who snitch, who didn't snitch, the people we think snitch, whatever the case may be, it's like people are shocked about it. No, think of how crazy this shit is. Like, look, niggas be like, on oh, some shit, like, like this just even though, like, nigga, this me as an artist, a street nigga, all that, I just be thinking just deeper now, like, niggas be like, um, even in music or just talking about shit. Like, niggas was scared we whooped up with them choppers I would whoop. And it'd be like, well, realistically, shit, a nigga that's about to get killed with assault rifles pointed at him, being scared, not really, like, not like, that's not far-fetched, like, you know what I'm saying? But now it's to the point where, like, all this wild ass shit is supposed to just be normal as hell. Mm. Like, no, nah, facts. But, I'm a part of it, cause like nigga, I got shot, and the first thing I thought, I ain't think nothing logical. Like nigga, I ain't about to die, nigga. That shit. Like I'm thinking all type of like, you feel me? Damn near shit that's part of the illusion. Like nigga, I can't let these niggas kill me. I ain't even down there. You feel me? So many thoughts bouncing around your head and this shit. You feel me? So. I say all that shit taught me. The whole layout of this shit is a fucking scam. Nah, it is. And, and and the biggest thing, I was like the rat word, right? Like snitches. We know that as an old saying, like, there's no honor amongst thieves, right? Yeah. And for most of them, I mean, for the exception of maybe, what, Big Meech and I don't know the whole situation, but, like, when we go back and look at the, the big dogs of the drug game, right, the kingpins, most of them niggas snitch. When we go back and look at the, I don't know, at every situation... It was a snitch involved, right? Mm -hmm. And it came from the street. So if this happened year after, and I mean, it's more than 20 years now, right? So we have the blueprint. We have the history. We have the knowledge. It's there. Right. We don't even, they say if you want to hide something from a black person, put it in a book. You don't even got to put it in a book. It's, it's, it's right on, there. In the movies we watch, it's, every, it's on the internet, all that. So the, the thing that people think that they're going to go in the streets and get a different outcome is almost, it's the definition of insanity. It's crazy. <laughs> like, it don't even make sense. It's crazy. Damn, man. All right, so... Let's get into it, man. All Star Jr. is in the building, Detroit. I um, I feel like what 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 side of Detroit you from? East side. East side of Detroit. I feel like um, when I think of Detroit, I think of like Baltimore. I'm from Baltimore, so like, but the thing that I think is different in Detroit, like y'all are music heavy, but y'all just started getting this thing where y'all getting representations from the streets. Like on the bigger scale, yeah. Yeah. Is that something that y'all talk about in Detroit as far as, like, the music wise? Because outside of, from my outside looking at, I'm looking at, if somebody was to be like, man, Detroit need to get on the map, or Detroit just get on the map, I'm like, you crazy. Like, them niggas been on the map. They had Exhibit, they had Eminem, they had Big Sean. But I'm a, I wonder how that would, how would you think about that being in Detroit at that moment before we had any street representation in the rap game? I think, like, that's just, like, I see that a lot of, like, with a lot of major cities, especially, like, urban cities and shit, but it's, like, they important to America. A lot of shit like that be, like, the reverse, like, and, like, like so, like, the Eminem, the Big Shines, like, that type of shit. It's, like, yeah, they Detroit, but that's not, like, the Detroit that the heart is, you know what I'm saying? So it was, that was really just the disconnect, like, it's, like, a situation like that, like, it's just demographic. Like, you can't tell the Detroit street niggas, like, what about Eminem and Big mm. Sean? Because they're like, what? They're like, nigga, what about Blade? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just different demographics. Like, mm. it, it's all it's all important. Like, all the representation is important. But, yeah, it's definitely, like, the first time we begin national recognition for, like, what the fuck actually going on. Like, it's been like this. Niggas only been listening to Detroit shit in Detroit for 10 years. Mm. Damn, so you feel like when you was coming up, when the niggas that was hot, you was like, man, this, did you ever catch yourself and like, man, this ain't Detroit. Like, this like this nigga from Detroit, but this ain't really... That's fuck. just how it was. Everybody knew it and accepted that. Damn. 
So it's uh, it's, it's crazy because like in my part of the town is uh, DC, right? It's not too far from Baltimore. Yeah. And one of the things that's been an ongoing conversation for literally years is how Wale isn't like a direct representation of DC or he don't do nothing for DC. Some people say he did he did things that people say he didn't, right? That's our big shine. Wow. That's what I was gonna ask you. Like, what artist is that for y'all? That, like, that's that's like a nigga who from there, but may not be the representation of what the majority is in like an urban type setting. That's the same shit. Like, and it's and what's fucked up. It put them niggas in bad spots because it's like, it's damn near like not intentional, but it be seeming intentional because why is like you ask the street niggas how much do they admire or look up or how much did the nigga that's not a street nigga do for them? And it's like nobody was wrong, like, in their situation. Like, you know, like, even with a nigga like Sean, like, let's say, and, like, he done did a lot of shit recently, like, fucking with niggas and shit. But let's say he never did. This was the same group of niggas who, like, that nigga ain't really one of us. Like, I don't expect to never hear from, like, I don't expect to work with Sean, work with Eminem. Like, you know, it'd be cool, that type of shit, though. But that's, like, I was one of them niggas, like, no, that's not. Because I didn't know. I'm I'm listening to Blade. I'm listening to Street Lords, the Cheddar Boys, we... Transition, nigga. I wasn't listening to Big Sean. I was listening to Peasy and them. You feel mm-hmm. me, like, like. So it's like, shit. That's the difference. Like nobody wrong. Like, cause is, I'm sure they did shit. Like, a lot, Sean to put a lot of niggas from his world on. Yeah, I, I think he. <laughs> you I, I would have again. I was looking in. It seemed like he put on. He represented the D a lot. So I yeah, would like just imagine somebody saying he ain't do nothing for the D. Yeah, like just that. Just, but then it's like. Like I said, who are you, who you asking? Because, yeah, he did do a lot for Detroit, but it's like you asking the street niggas in music. Like, that's not what niggas be asking. Like, so what did Big Sean do for the Detroit music scene? Like, all right, kind of like shit. Because that's not our music scene that, like, you see it now, don't you? Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, no, like, not, that's yeah. not our music scene that he would, like, see, he ain't do shit for that part of it. Mm-hmm. Except, like, oh, it, it's people from Detroit that can rap? I guess if you want to generalize it. Damn. Okay. So who do you think was the first rapper, street rapper, that, like, put on, that, that opened the floodgates for people to really see this, the, the streets, the street rap from Detroit? Would you say T that, Grizzly that, or Yeah, no? to open the floodgates, T. I would think so, too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, T. Okay. So what do you, at one point in time, I'm assuming, again, was y'all thinking that, you know, Man, somebody need to get on to put Detroit on the map, right? And what do you think will actually happen? And I'm I'm asking these questions because these are the same questions we talk about in Baltimore. Right. Like, man, we gotta. It was a point where we be like, man, we gotta be, we gotta stick together like Atlanta niggas. Like, we gotta, we gotta like come together and so everybody can get on. I'm talking to a Detroit nigga who we see representation from from the streets, right? right. What did it actually take for Detroit? What you think? What did it actually take for Detroit to get on? Was it? It took. Niggas to see T Grizzly, or was it more than that? It it literally down there in the way because it was already bubbling. It's like sometimes everything just come together. Mm. Like it's so many niggas. You gotta think about it. By this point, it's a scene now. So it's niggas like like I said, we only been listening to Detroit shit for ten years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So then a nigga catch one. You know, all this shit really be about one song. Mm. With any of this shit, you just need one. Boom, you catch one. You get a nigga who really in the game because nah, this not the other Detroit. This the actual, you know what I'm saying? This the Detroit street artist that done got on. So boom, nah, he rubbing shards with niggas. He get somebody else in the room. Mm. Boom, they get somebody else in the room. And now think about it on a national scale. You know how this shit work for real. This nigga sign the labels, all this. A couple buttons get pressed. The vultures gonna come out. Oh, let's see what's going on in Detroit. Not oh, right. f- these niggas been up here going crazy for years. Like shit. All right, let's get to passing our deals. Mm. Like shit. That's just how that shit go. You see it even with us, the Memphis niggas, the Florida niggas. Memphis like, is another one. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's just how this shit go. I think it was just finally time. You just needed a nigga who actually represented what was actually going on to get in the door. Mm. I wanted to talk to you about this. Cause I saw on the no drummer shit, right? You was- 
from the um plug back in uh on the no jumper shit, the way you told the story of how you got shot was type crazy. Like it's like you ain't have no emotions behind the shit. I went through the emotion shit. But it was just like it was. I don't want to say a joke, but it just came off like man, like the story was. It was just crazy. But G shit too. Like that's another. That's just me. I'm not. I wasn't about to give dog even that too much of the vulnerability mm. of it because like nigga, he not there for that. He don't look at that shit as real life, nigga. That shit was video game shit too, and so you damn gotta get the video game version. Damn. That's some real shit. You feel me? We we can't kick game about that. Probably how me and you can. Cause think about this. This nigga asking me damn near smile. Like, so what was it like when you got shot? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't even begin to have that conversation at the level that it probably, like, my fans and shit probably would have wanted it to be had. Cause this not a nigga I'm even giving that piece of me. Damn. We got like I can, cause at the end of the day, that shit was still like how I explained it on there is exactly how it was. But it was a lot of vulnerability. Like, nigga, I'm thinking, like, nigga, I can't die on my kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, so it's like, you feel me? I just don't. It's just a lot of hug games I'm not playing while I do this shit. Yo, question. Like, because we talked about this before, like, just a little bit before the interview. Do you think that 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 part right there, the integrity piece of it, be holding you back far as in the music game? Yeah. Because a lot of times the shit sells, the, the bullshit sells. I'm not going to say that holds me back. But it's a lot more bullshit I could do to accelerate shit. Mm. I'm I'm put it like that. Cause when nigga you get to pulling out shit reasons why shit ain't happening, you just sound like a hoe. I don't believe in that type of shit. Nah, fact, I'm fact. sure if I invested more into the bullshit that I could, like, but no, nah, like I'm here cause nigga, I fuck with music. Like, although I'm a street nigga, I done had all this shit happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna happen in the music. And that's like I'm not here to get on my page and, and, and rant. You know what I'm saying? Or do this shit that I guess turn you up and shit because then when you stop doing that, it's gonna turn you down. So if the reason people fuck with you is cause you're craft and you really do this shit, that's what lasts. Think about it. Once you niggas stop, like look at the beef niggas. They stop beefing, niggas stop listening. Mm. Or the beef go on too long, like damn. Y'all been rapping about these things for three years or y'all ain't dead yet? Yeah, facts. Like, you straight on this shit. Like, shit. Yo, what's poppin'? This episode is sponsored by Fidela Nero. It's a luxury, high-quality, premium clothing line based out of Washington, D.C. Listen, man, if you trying to feel good, look good while you feeling good, holla at my guys at Fidela Nero. And they got all type of sizes. I mean, from little kids to grown-ups, from small people to big people. Whatever size you are, they got something that's going to fit you. You feel me? And we got a special promo code for you. Look, because I'm the GOAT, I got something special for you. All you got to do is enter promo code JHILL, that's J-A-Y-H-I-L-L, and we're going to give you 23% off. Enter J-A-Y-H-I-L-L. And I'm giving you the GOAT price, baby. 23% off. Holla at my guys at Fidel and Nero. You know the vibes. If I'm focused on like what I'm here to do. Damn. Do you uh, Now, staying on that point, when you got shot, I know it's a touchy subject. Do you think more people tuned in because that has something attached to it? Hell yeah. That's just the nature of this game. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucked up. Like, I prefer not to get shot. I got shot in the fucking head. So I would definitely prefer... For that shit not to happen, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. You gotta, it's a part of my life. You feel me? At what time? At when? When was it when you got shot? Like what? What around what time? Like day? Date? It was night. It was a night. September type shit. Like so, it wasn't the September that just passed. It was September before that. Yes. When September is. came back around, was that like a hard time for you? No, that was a cool time. Like niggas thought I was gonna be finished. I'm back. You feel me? Like no, that was a cool time. So like. The anniversary don't like fuck with you at all. I think about that shit like little regular times. Like I ain't no nigga who get hung up on like just certain days and shit. Like I always be telling niggas though, like, like it don't be like the day us and shit. It be like moments and shit. Like sometimes I might be kicking it with this nigga. Like my my videographer, my nigga, and he got shot with me. So we might be talking about all right, all right, we just go get on it tomorrow. But then I be thinking like, man. Shit, I had a lot of plans for the 7th and I got shot on the 6th. Or I got plans for the 8th and I got shot on the 7th. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, like 
tomorrow be like fucking me up sometimes. Like they be deeper thoughts as opposed to, damn, this the day of. Mm. Like I might just be chilling with my kids. Like damn, I, I was this close to never doing this shit again. Damn, that's some real shit. I remember, and, and another thing you talked about, you said how like that kind of helped you with dropping music. Like you don't really hold on to music like that now. Like, yeah, like it. it's about to be like like for a long time. Like niggas had gotten to this place where you overthinking this shit, trying to like no, nah, like just drop the music. Mm. I was talking to the nigga uh, La Russell from the Bay, and he was saying like how he don't hold on to nothing just because of that. He was like, man, I could be gone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I don't want like when you go, you know what I'm saying you can't take it with you. So like I was wondering if you take that that same mindset or is it? Or, I mean, an artist, it got to be some type of strategy to it. Or are you just dropping whatever you, you like? Nah, on? it's definitely more so like no, nah, this shit gotta come out. But I be caring about what I put out. Mm. So it's like, no, we just got to increase the output and the pace of it. But we ain't just about to put out everything. Like, no, it's still going to be a thousand songs that don't come out. Mm. It's just, shit, a thousand more years. You feel me? Yo, another thing I thought that was really interesting about you is <laughs> you, like, big on content, right? Like, you got to be. You did a whole, like, it was like a YouTube series? Yeah. Called uh, The Dorm? Yeah. From, uh, what was the name of it? The Dorm. What? Like, first of all, you was doing this a while ago. You was doing this. I think you was doing this before niggas was actually, like, in the podcast space. A lot of people. Yeah. It was, like, a nigga I fucked with. Like, I was uh, partners with and shit. Like, we just came up with an idea and shit. And, like, nigga, I got a personality and shit. I ain't one of these weird-ass niggas. That's what make this shit tricky because it be, like, a lot of shit, like, you down there wonder how much can you give to people because it's, like, y'all got to focus on this music, like, you feel me? Like, yeah, I'm a funny-ass nigga, but I'm not the funny nigga. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I'm not here to play with niggas all day and be niggas homeboys, shit, because that's really just not how I'm wired. I can adapt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, shit, I just, a nigga who got a personality, like, I'm creative, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga go embrace, embrace more of that shit. Now, I thought that was hard. Like, I feel like, wh why you stop that shit? Shit. Cause that shit was hard. You had some good shit going on. It, I think it's something I'ma pick back up, but it's like it's just not time for me to do that shit. A lot of shit, motherfuckers wouldn't know come from my mind and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. this shit I still got going on that I created that I just can't do. Cause it's like, like nigga, I'm still a turnt street artist, so I don't got time to do this shit all the time, or I don't. Maybe want this to overshadow what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yo, um, going back to the uh, shooting and shit. When you're a cameraman, you say you got shot. Does that make? I'm, I'm, clearly, I'm gonna assume that that makes the bond a whole lot more stronger, right? Knowing that, like, yeah, this is my cameraman, but this nigga is. Yeah, that's my nigga. I thought we was through. <laughs> like, hey. that gotta be like a different bond now, right? I knew he was. I knew I would never get on the other side of his lens. I'm like, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, it's over. I'm like, that nigga family probably like, no, don't fuck hey, with this. Look, <laughs> hey, look, because I thought about it. The look on that nigga face when he was looking at me. I'm like, oh, that nigga, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Your fucking face was hanging off. I'm like, and I was just thinking, like, I'm recovering this shit. You know, I'm just sitting back. I couldn't move none of my shit and shit. You know, I'm fucked up. So I'm just thinking, I ain't talked to this nigga in a minute. I had damn near accepted it. Like, damn. This is the rap. It's done. Yeah, it's over. Hey, what day I just called that nigga, like, hey, bro, what we about to do? <laughs> Like, he still was with it. Yeah, like nigga, we straight. That shit, I get yeah, fucked his head up too. Like nigga, it was, <laughs> like nah, you we stuck like, now. Like, like, yeah, like I just nigga, got shot over like, this. <laughs> like we gotta do so, <laughs> nigga. You better pop. You better blow. Like yeah, this shit gotta work. Damn, was he was he like a uh, like a street nigga too, or just like? No, that's just, like my nigga. He like really a good nigga who like on this shit. Like he ain't no bitch ass nigga, but he ain't no nigga who need to be getting shot. Either. Nah, facts. Nah, jeez, <laughs> like that's uh, like, crazy. I, I'll take that one. Uh, you like, got the tape that's coming out. Uh, Friday. I need a date. By the time this, we come gotta do out, a date. Yeah, what's yeah, the date? What's the date? Twentieth January. Twentieth 20th, 20th. January twentieth. What's the name of it? Organized crime. Organized two. crime too. Um, I think I got a chance to see the track list. It's like a lot of songs on there. Like, it's really like 15 songs, a couple interludes type shit. Okay, yeah, yeah. You got like three interludes, yeah. 15 songs. I feel like even still, it's for for nowadays, that's still a long tape. That's still a long project. It's it, but it's short though. It's like 40, 44 minutes in whole. Like Okay, that's of, not bad at all. The numbers definitely intimidate you though. You see that shit. Yeah. 
But then what's so crazy, do it really, I think, like, it's all about what type of music you into because yeah, it seems like, yeah, like, all these major albums is, all this shit is 18 songs. Then the deluxe come out, it's 30 songs. Mm. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, is it a, um, do you think that got something to do with the streams? You get more streams when niggas, it's longer? Niggas be trying to recoup. <laughs> niggas be trying to recoup. You gotta pay them people back, man. Okay, okay. Well, no, nah, man, what else you got going niggas on, dog? The line. Like, that's what that shit be. Like, niggas we gotta trying. put 59 songs on this bitch. We owe these people. Niggas be having to. Like, that's why these niggas be having all these goddamn songs. Wait, explain it. So, I feel like you still. Like, how you. How, how are they getting paid more? Uh, of course, it's more songs to stream, so it's more revenue. But if niggas ain't listening, I mean. I mean, you gotta think about how this shit work. The more of it that's put out there, how algorithms work, the more of it that's out there, the more likely somebody listening to something. Okay. I think my niggas ain't even treating music and shit like art no more. This shit literally, like, spit this shit out, let's make some money for a lot nah, of No, it's people. definitely a business. All of this shit, like, even the, the content space, bro, it's like. Like, you literally got... It's work now. Like, how many niggas, just real shit, you think, like, that you done sat with, like, damn, I ain't getting nothing out of that except doing the favor or making the play or, you know what I'm saying? Don't cap, because it's a lot no, no. of... Well, you feel I, I, me? I'm the last nigga. Yeah, a nigga, too be much like, on my a nigga would be like, oh, no, every oh, one nah. of my guests I love. Ask, 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 my, <laughs> ask my audio guy, my engine. Bro, I, I think I talk too much on my platform. I keep I keep it real. I don't like interviewing people. Yeah. Like, niggas be, like, niggas don't have nothing to talk about. I'm just being straight up with yeah. you. I'm going to be 100% with you. Like, even the, the little shit we went through, I appreciate shit like that because it showed me that you a man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I... Bro, I'm, I, I don't care. Like, I ain't scared of these niggas. Like, yeah, that's how I need to be. Like, like, facts. But anyway, like, um, and saying all of that, it might sound like I'm capping, but not too many. Because one, like, you came here. Yeah. I, I usually get that energy. Like, niggas mess with what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I try to be real. I mean, I'm just real. I'm just me, right? Yeah. So, and a lot of people, real, real recognize real. That's real. Like, you can't, right you can't deny that. And I do feel like the people that do come on do appreciate that. If it has it been some who, who just like weird and yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But like even if I'm not tapped in with them after the interview, just us dapping hands and I'm saying, y'all really fuck with what you got going on. And I know that like I could be or they could be somebody that were if they in the in town or something, we could kick it probably, if that yeah. makes sense. So it's not too many though. But yeah. And that's how I it's am, like, like, even with my shit, like, I just like more hands-on, like, like, nah, you you tapped in, but damn, I fuck with dude, let me go see. And that's why I be big, like, even shit, like, you ain't got to cut, this. like, nigga, I don't like talking about other niggas, don't ask me about none of them niggas. Nah, facts. Whether I fuck with them or don't, like, yeah, nigga, I'm a facts. champion, nigga, like, my, your comments gonna be full of my people, like, oh, this the nigga, like, I got my own, you don't gotta... You don't need no clickbait, none of that. You feel me? Oh, I you got, got some, motion. I was, yeah, yeah, I got some real shit going on. Now I was on, looking, so. like, this nigga got real motion. Yeah, so it's like, you don't never got to do that with a nigga like me. And, like, we can kick real game when, you know what I'm saying? You don't, like, and not even saying you was necessarily not doing good. that, you, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you don't got to put none of the additives to get get them to come see me holler at you. This some shit that, like, damn, you got your hair on that bitch? Like, all right, baby. How that feel? So it sounds like you, you know you, a lot of people... They don't really know the position they hold. It sounds like you know where you no, I know what position what's up. you hold. I know where I'm going. I know I'm one of the niggas. Like, I study this shit. Like, niggas like me, this shit don't come, like, quick. But when it happen, it stay. Mm. Like, I don't be tripping. Like, I know the type of nigga I am and even want to be. Like, that's why niggas be like, bro, you got shot in the head. You got shot in the face. How that shit feel? Like, you don't get where I'm going without going through no crazy shit. Mm, mm, mm. You feel me? So that it, it shit. Got I mean, I don't know if you believe in this, but it got to be somebody, right, that's looking over you, right? Yeah, definitely. I believe in I believe in all that shit. That's how I know. Like, that's literally how I know. Like, even shit as small as when I was in prison before I ever, like, fucking dropped a mixtape. Like, when I was just on my bunk writing raps, I literally used to see myself, like, rocking shows. And she asked this nigga, I used to tell this nigga, like, bro, I seen all this shit. Like, mm -hmm. nigga, I seen me literally getting on this shit already. Like, nigga, I'm just trying to go follow the steps and get to the process. Like, I ain't imagining and hoping no shit. Like, I'm just trying to get, get this job done. Nah, it's crazy, bro, because it's like, I tell niggas that all the time, bro, like, because a lot of people, they, uh, 
they get it twisted, like, my respect, they get it twisted with, like, humility. And sometimes people take your humility for, like, something else. Like, they hold it against you, like, don't be too humble. I tell niggas, like, nah, I'm not humble, bro. I know I'm this shit. You yeah. get what I'm saying? But it's something, it, it's some, it got to be some type of craziness behind knowing that you going to make it somewhere everybody else not really understanding for real. Yeah, like, bro, think about this, man. I got, I got shot right here, bro, all up in here. I didn't walk in here. Y'all niggas can't visibly, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know God even fuck with me to the point where a nigga, I ain't even about to fuck up your face. Keep pushing. Ooh, niggas, I still look good. Yeah, like, keep pushing, bro. Like, just do what you need to do. Mm, like, mm -hmm. so, like, I look at that shit and, like, I'm fine with that because when you know, you, but you, I'm not running around this bitch playing with it. either. like, it's certain steps you got to take mm. to get there. But, like, I know I'm one of the niggas. So, like, let's just see what it is. Are you, but... You said you've seen yourself here, right? And I ask this a lot of times. Do you do you enjoy the industry? I feel like niggas like us, niggas that come from like genuine backgrounds and real backgrounds and authenticity. When you in a when you in a circus, I call it a circus, the industry, you gotta sometimes you gotta play in a circus. Yeah, I'm learning that shit. I hate this shit, but I do like the shit that I do like about it is go be enhanced. I like the fact that everywhere I go, like, nigga, ask my videographer, everywhere we go, every major city hood that we ever been to, it's niggas running up, hey, I ride around getting my sack off listening to you. Mm. Like, nigga, I done ran up a hundred bands listening to you, nigga. I fuck with you. Like, so to be able to spread that even out even further, like, shit, get more financially set off this shit. Make sure my people straight just from that. I got to take, and cause like this shit, this rap shit, even like, I guess being up and coming or not being like a superstar rapper, like nigga, like life lit, like nigga, I'm six figure nigga, I be fucking all these niggas hoes, like, fuck is you talking about, like it's amazing, <laughs> like, you feel me, I, living in penthouses, all that shit, like nigga, it's really going on, like nigga, I got real shit going, my phone been ringing the whole time, I'm just, keeping, I'm just hitting the side button the whole time, that's my shit been in my pocket, like niggas getting to live real life, and it's damn near like a fantasy, cause it's like nigga, I did everything wrong, I done went to prison, been stabbed, shot, been in all type of crazy shit, and I could just rap, and it's people who going to school 10, 15 years of their life, like damn, you got seven degrees and no cheese? Mm. Like, I'm about to go work on this tape, big fella. Then, uh, like, shit, Kanye a... West was talking about on College <laughs> Dropout. He's like, you gotta go to school. Like, niggas ain't getting no money. Like, that's like, like, that's a blessing. So, like, I feel like for that type of shit, I did I know I gotta deal with whole niggas and weird ass shit and mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. fake snake gangs. Cause this shit really darker than the streets. That's a fact. So, bro. it's like, it's a fact. And, 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 and it, it's that way because at least in the streets, you have some type of idea of, Niggas can do you wrong and like don't trust niggas. You get what I'm saying? And the industry is like people be like selling you tickets. People will tell you they gonna do something. They don't do it. So it's mm -hmm. it's almost worse at because you don't really you come in and not know no better. Like you coming in thinking niggas got your back, thinking niggas is cool, thinking niggas is what they say they are, who they say they are, and they not. And that shit like that shit. You gonna be so fucking sad. <laughs> hey, y'all niggas covering this rap shit with all this Spider Man fairy tale <laughs> shit. Y'all niggas gonna be devastated. Oh my god. <laughs> like, oh, hey, just hey, keep on pushing like you was when you was fucked up and you was really thinking you wasn't getting nothing for Christmas. If you keep that attitude, bro, this shit go for you so good every time. So, as soon as you get to expected real shit and shit to go right, you gonna be devastated. <laughs> You're going to be hurt. Shit out of luck. No. Man, I appreciate you for pulling up, dog. Man, uh, I appreciate you having me, no, bro. Man. Talk. I, I fuck with the whole everything, like, for real. Like, that's just me. I, I like, I, I, I enjoy the learning moments, everything. Like, I mean that. that ain't yeah, we me. definitely go run it back, too, my nigga. For, oh, sure, for sure, for sure. I, I, I tell niggas this all the time. I look forward to, when I do these interviews, I look forward to, like, doing it again. On like a bigger, a bigger like, scale, right? Like, like yeah. cause like niggas like you, but like I tell people all the time, like, you never know when a nigga really going, go, like you going crazy. You never know when it's gonna go next level. Yeah, when it's gonna go. And I'm gonna keep working too. So like I ain't, I'm gonna save time. Yeah. So when it come back, it's gonna be like some Jay Z Letterman type shit. Whole different spot, everything. Like damn, boy, I heard you, you, you working out. What's in there now? We gotta sit down. No, fact. you know what I'm saying. I look forward to that type of shit because I'm a nigga like all the fake shit like. I know the fake shit and I know the real shit. So I know, like, in a way, bro, 
I gotta be a part of the fake shit because mm. the level I'm going to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but then it's like the real me understand, like, them real relationships and shit. Like, if you can keep that shit going with as many motherfuckers in this negative space as possible, that feel better too. Mm. Like, Mm-mm. not to even name drop, you feel me? I feel better about coming here kicking it with you than the maybe the bigger platform. Because nigga, I know this shit was more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, it's we, your people though. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Me? Another platform might be work, right? It might be somebody hired somebody. Yeah, and nothing against the platforms. It could be shit. Somebody wanting to ask certain things because they know that's going to bring the streams and the revenue. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like, listen, man. It's still business. Like you can't be like like even when artists got to understand this shit too. Like a lot of niggas like. Don't be wanting to talk to y'all old ass niggas. Like, you know, interviews be like, like that's talking and that's words and that's like entertainment. And the nigga come up on this bitch and like think he not supposed to say nothing. Like, don't nobody want to talk to y'all niggas. Or like niggas with literally no motion. Don't nobody want to talk to y'all niggas either. And it's okay. Like, just just, like, just get your motion. Yeah, up. just I figure, had to get my motion. Yeah, up. just figure, for niggas to even want to let you talk that's to That's a them. fact. Like, like no cap. Talk. Like I was telling my mess, like, I'm not about to just get a all star JR interview with like because I'm a, like yeah you a, you respect my platform yeah. but it's because I had to do something yeah. like I'm not just a nigga on the street like yo let me interview like nah like yeah. I had to have some type of motion like, same way yeah like and that, exactly same bro because it's like like okay even as an artist they go hit you with the list and I'm like uh no, I fuck with this nigga. <laughs> like, like like no, I be fuck with this nigga. Like, like I ain't right. fuck with them niggas. Yeah, like no you feel me? Like so it's like. And I'm a nigga who, like, going through this shit, I'm damn near, like, with some shit, like, if you ain't reach out to me, I'll, I'm i like, no, see what Jay Hill talking about. Like, mm. I'll go kick it with, bro. Mm. Like, like, oh, like, because, you know, just being, getting more so a part of the system, I like, think you got to go do something. Nah, like, you feel me? Like, all right, like, fuck it. Niggas love being lazy, though. Niggas don't, <laughs> niggas don't want motion. Niggas just want to stay at a house and just yeah. have to come. It's like, I know, like, look, if I know, like, oh, it's press room. We got to go. Like, all right, let's, who the fuck respectable and at least want to go talk to? Facts. Like, the work shit. I know y'all go throw a work one on me. Yeah. Like, you, <laughs> you know, you go get that bitch through on you. Yeah. So, we don't got to see the names on it. But y'all, yeah. nah, for, I fuck so with it. Bro. I, I embrace you, the dog. shit I, I actually embrace. You feel me? Next time we going to, like, have a room where we can smoke and, like, just, you know. Yeah, just really vibe about yeah, shit. Man. I don't even Smoke for real, but <laughs> we go, we go do it. Yeah, that, <laughs> nah, look, that, that's his, that's his curveball. Like, damn, this nigga ain't drinking, so fuck it. I'm gonna have some weed for Yeah, it. you know what I'm saying? Niggas could do something. I offer niggas drinks. Niggas turn my drinks down. Like, come on, man. <laughs> fuck it though. Let niggas know how to follow you and support everything you got going man, on. Man, follow me, All Star Jr. Two Seven Two for all social medias. OC Two probably be out by the time y'all see this shit going on, man. And just you know, the whole get a bag nation. Y'all know what to do. Keep spreading the gospel. I'm like, I ain't on here begging y'all niggas to figure it out. Just go get to y'all. <laughs> Facts. My dog, All Star JR, J Hill, J Hill Podcast.